if I wanted to hyperlink between text here and an HTML page, I would simply click on highlight the text. I then go to my hyperlinking icon and I would paste the content here. However, I'm going to start over again. What if that page is something you have on your own WordPress? The concept is the same thing. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to insert a hyperlink. Notice here that sometimes your existing content is hidden under this little piece that says or link to existing content. If I open that up, now I get a, um, a listing of all my pages. And because I may have a lot of different pages, I've got over 60 pages in my site right now, I may have to search an item. Now I happen to know that I want to link to my sample on the Prezi. Um, it floats to the top because that's the very last thing I did. However, if I wanted to search for the word Prezi, now it's going to come back with everything that's got that word in it and I should be able to pick it. Uh, similar idea if I wanted to drop to um, the word assignments. As long as I have an, a sense of what the page has in its title or in its content, I should be able to search for it and hyperlink to it. I'm going to drop back to Prezi because that's what I was doing. And now I can click on this because that's going to take me to that page. And that's how I link to a page within my own site. Now the next thing I'd like to just very quickly speak to, let me jump under pages over here. When you start developing a site and you have a lot of pages, I've got over four pages worth of content here so far. There's a couple of things that I find helpful in terms of organization. These are not required, but as you get a larger site, you might find these tips helpful. One of the things I like to do is I like to add numbers to them, but notice that instead of just calling this session one, session two, etc., I have it labeled as session 01, 02, etc. And that's because a computer takes a look at <clears throat> session 10, 11, etc. These all start with the number value of 1. So if I didn't rename my session 1 to be session 01, then they would float together. Let me just show you that very quickly. The other thing I'd like to show you is this, is that if I hover on top, notice I can go to a quick edit. That allows me to just edit some very quick things like the title, its parent, the date publication, etc. Um, very quickly without actually having to open the entire page. Now let me resort my pages here. Now, <clears throat> let me show you. If I take a look here, here's my session one, but it's smack dab in the middle of session nine and 10. So that I would have session one, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Eventually I would get to session two and then three, four, five, etc. Again, if I want these things to float logically from a human standpoint, I'm going to want to name that zero one. That's some very quick tips. Again, uh, super helpful to be able to do a quick edit. Um, you can also quick do a quick trash from here, that kind of thing. Hope these tips help in terms of organization. See you later.